This month's reading recommendation from Adult Services features the award-winning nonfiction Just Mercy. In today's reading, author Brian Stevenson has a conversation with three figures from the civil rights movement, Virginia Deer, Johnny Carr, and Rosa Parks. And I hope you find their conversation as interesting as I did. The first time I met Miss Parks, I sat on Miss Deer's front porch in Old Cloverdale, a residential neighborhood in Montgomery, and I listened to the three women talk for two hours. Finally, after watching me listen for all that time, Miss Parks turned to me and sweetly asked, Now, Brian, tell me who you are and what you're doing. I looked at Miss Carr to see if I had permission to speak, and she smiled and nodded at me. I then gave Miss Parks my rap. Yes, ma'am. Well, I have a law project called the Equal Justice Initiative, and we're trying to help people on death row. We're trying to stop the death penalty, actually. We're trying to do something about prison conditions and excessive punishment. We want to free people who've been wrongly convicted. We want to end unfair sentences in criminal cases and stop racial bias in criminal justice. We're trying to help the poor and do something about indigent defense and the fact that people don't get the legal help they need. We're trying to help people who are mentally ill. We're trying to stop them from putting children in adult jails and prisons. We're trying to do something about poverty and the hopelessness that dominates poor communities. We want to see more diversity in decision-making roles in the justice system. We're trying to educate people about racial history and the need for racial justice. We're trying to confront abuse of power by police and prosecutors. I realized that I'd gone on way too long and I stopped abruptly. Miss Parks, Miss Carr, and Miss Dear were all looking at me. Miss Parks leaned back, smiling. Oh, honey, that's all going to make you tired, tired, tired. We all laughed. I looked down, a little embarrassed. Then Miss Carr leaned forward and put her finger in my face and talked to me just like my grandmother used to talk to me. She said, that's why you've got to be brave, brave, brave. All three women nodded in silent agreement, and for just a little while, they made me feel like a young prince. Just Mercy is available on the shelf for curbside service and on the Libby app in audio format.